<laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Immediately when I heard about this, I thought, BS. A bunch of actors at an award ceremony that people are getting sick and tired of watching because it's so anti-white uh, that they suddenly have a, a fight on the stage. Come on. Uh, I, just at that, I said, no, Bravo Sierra. And, the, and this is from the entertainers. This is from entertainers in Hollywood. So then I saw the video and it even looks fake to somebody who's regrettably been in a lot of fights. And uh, your head does not go back like that from the kind of slap that Will Smith, is that his name? Yeah, delivered to, to jerk someone's head way over the way it did. You would need, and just ask, ask other people who have been in fights. Uh, you would need a slap high on the head with the palm of your hand and you wouldn't, there wouldn't be a follow through like, uh, like Will Smith uh, had after the slap. That's more of a slap of uh, like mid palm up through the fingers, lower on the face. And it, when you slap someone like that, their head doesn't go anywhere. It's just, a, you know, it'll jerk like that, but their whole head doesn't go back. That to me is indicative of somebody who knows that they were going to be slapped. I, I'm not saying that they didn't make contact. Uh, I was, I may or may not have been trained in in uh, different types of fighting styles, and uh, been hit uh, practicing that may or may not have happened uh, intentionally, and very aware of when you know that you're going to be hit, uh, what that's like, and you, you there's an instinctual move away from the blow as it strikes. So it's it's much more uh, dramatic than it would have actually been. So to me, in my opinion, it, it looked fake. Maybe it, maybe, uh, it faked in the sense that Chris Rock knew it was coming. Uh, but uh, even if it weren't, even if, the, even if the, that moment was real and uh, he really did walk up there and, and slap him and Chris Rock didn't know it was coming, and Will Smith wasn't put up to it for the purpose of bringing attention to this absolutely dying, disgusting entertainment industry, anti-white entertainment industry. Even if none of that took place and that was he did that on the spot, uh, then you still shouldn't believe it. For God's sake, stop being a big, white, booby, dodo bird that just believes anything that comes out of... It, it just sickens me. It absolutely sickens me. I used to I used to say because I was so disgusted with how easily white people fall for the lies of of anti whites cunning anti whites I used to I used to tell my friend and it's absolutely true that I could go into a bar and bring a message that would save our people uh, and no one would give a shit I could share that honestly forthrightly with everyone and then anti white an anti white victimizer uh, shows up in the bar could give the same message with the intent to steer folks down a dead end alley and finish us off. And they could have everybody eaten out of the palm of his hand. That's disgusting. So it speaks to, uh, the, I guess the potential bottleneck, maybe we need it. Um, this, this level of gullibility.